The following program is rated TV MALSV. It contains strong language, sexual situations, and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. Championship Wrestling Diamond Cup as we kick it off. First, making her way to the ring from the basement beneath Blue's Tavern. She is the necessary evil, Chelsea Burton. Like I said, we are kicking it off with a non-tournament match just to get you started as Chelsea Durden has entered the ring. This woman out of Florida is no one to mess with. Her opponent has some challenges ahead. GCW14. Make sure you use that hashtag, hashtag GCW14, hashtag United We Fight. We are here for the Diamond Cup. This is a non tournament match. I am Brittany Nicole, and joining me, man in the ring, out of the ring, all over the place, is the young professor. Welcome to the table. Brittany, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to finally get to work with you. This should be a fun night we have here for GCW14. Yes, it is. There's the bell, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, these two women are staples and mainstays here in the Florida wrestling scene. Persia Pierce doing a lot of work out in the east coast of Florida. Chelsea Durden wrestling very frequently with Gangrel's Wrestling Asylum. Two vastly different styles. A mixed martial arts style from Persia Pierce. And there's a lockup from these two ladies. Persia gets sent off the ropes, the much larger Chelsea Durden. She's going to have the power advantage. Yes, indeed she is. I mean, Chelsea has been known to say less in the world today. And I mean, she might be talking about her opponent. She might be talking about the literal world. I mean, I really don't know. It is 2020. That's true. I will say this. Prior to this match, if you followed GCW on social media, you might have seen Chelsea Durden's very interesting words, not only to Persia Pierce, who right now is lighting her up with some kicks inside that ring, but she also had some choice words for Mr. Gomez here of GCW. Persia goes off the ropes. Sunset flip. Oh, referee Julie Gilbert. Really. Right now, Persia snapmare takeover. Snapmare. Oh. Drives her down with that knee. Julie with the count. Still only two. I mean, you're definitely not going to be able to take Chelsea out that easily. However, I mean, the fiercest, the submission queen, you know, tap or snap herself, she might be taking an arm with her tonight. Well, she means business here, and she's got a lot to prove. We actually saw Persia Pierce make her GCW debut at our last event, GCW 13, up in beautiful Indianapolis, Indiana. And right now, Persia has control over Chelsea Durden, but Chelsea trying to use that height advantage, trying to use that power advantage, and manages to get Persia into the corner and drives that shoulder right into the sternum. I mean, and that's the thing is, Chelsea has been so aggressive, as you said, calling out Mr. Gomez, being able to come in here, saying that she is really upset that she's not in the tournament itself. I mean, she's trying to prove that she deserves to be in GCW and possible Diamond Cup champion. Oh, wait a minute, she's got her here. Oh. An Alabama slam from Chelsea Durden. Like I said. Somehow, Persia Pierce manages to kick out and Chelsea Durden is frustrated and looks like she's gonna take out that frustration with some submission action of her own. She's got a recliner in there. Camera How clutch. Is it the submission queen herself getting into a submission? I mean, a taste of her own medicine. I mean, yes, indeed. I mean, can she actually? Oh, that's that is not fun to have your face slammed into that mat. You can see the smug look on Chelsea Durden's face. She's very pleased with herself as she continues to punish Persia Pierce. 
Persia trying to get into the ropes, trying to get in a position where she can break away from the grip of Chelsea. Chelsea breaking the count just in time prior to a disqualification. Got to about four and a half there by my count. Yes, we did. And our referee, Julie, out here trying to keep it even, calling the match as she sees it. I mean, you know, she does have till five, but she might go a little bit further with that five, like five want, and a half. Uh, you don't want to abuse that. You don't want to make, put yourself in a position where you can come away with a disqualification, especially oh. if you are trying to put yourself in a position to be in a tournament like the Diamond Cup, like what we are going to see here tonight. Yes, indeed. I mean, you know, and Chelsea telling the ref, I do whatever the hell I want. I mean, that's a little... Look at that. Just very confident. Oh. Kick and a leg drop from Durden. Doesn't go for the cover there. No, definitely. Oh. This bloodthirsty crowd Third eating up the violence. The Not indeed. Persia still kicking out. There, you can see the look on Chelsea Durden's face. She's more frustrated now, looking perhaps no, and oh thought she was going to go for a submission instead. Some closed right hands, and that's why Julie Gilbert breaks it up. Chelsea Durden really bending every rule in the book tonight. Come on. Really trying our referee Julie's patience out there. Well, look at this, a cover. Only a one count. Persia still has some fight trying left in her. Trying to go it for it again, hooking both legs, but no go. Persia kicks out at like a half a count. You know, Brittany, I got to tell you, it is good to be back here with GCW. GCW has not run in the state of Florida since February. It is December. It's been quite a year, but we are happy to be here to bring this event to you. We're going to have an amazing tournament tonight, and these two ladies are looking to show that they are worthy of being a part of it, or at least challenging for whoever will become our women's champion later on tonight. Yes, indeed. Oh, by the hair. All right, all right, all right. That's where you see the size of the strength advantage. And now her out over her knee. The small of her back. That lumbar spine being crushed across the knee of Chelsea Durden. I don't think that's how chiropractic works, but you know. Not usually, not one that's legal. It's covered by insurance anyway. Persia manages to get out with that vicious MMA style kick. Persia. I mean, when you were on, I mean, the rack like that. Oh! Just in the nick of time, Persia Pierce ducks out of the way and Chelsea goes sprawling into the ring post. Yes, indeed. And it's like having a shark smelling blood. Absolutely. If she's going to sense weakness, that's obviously the, the area that she's going to attack. And it would be a smart thing to do because Chelsea has overpowered her thus far. But right now, that fierceness from Persia Pierce on display. Oh. Leaping clothesline takes down Durden. Persia having to, Persia not being able to waste any time here needs to get on top of Durden. Uh oh. Persia head of steam. That spinning back kick in the corner. Durden up, she's dizzy. Oh. Wow, that connected right under the jaw. It hangs Durden up into the top rope. I think Durden doesn't know where she is at this point. And there goes that Persia. arm again. Arm breaker from Persia Pierce. Uh oh. Locking in an arm bar. She's got it locked in. Is she going to tap? Is she going to tap? Is she going to tap? I think she's got the full extension if she's, she's not got careful. The whole extension. Oh, wait a minute. She's trying to fight up. Durden rolls over. She's got the shoulders she got down. Down for the rope. But how much damage was done in the process? Durden able to escape with that pinfall attempt. But wait a second. She's going to be able Double to pull this hook. off. Uh -oh. oh! Wait just a minute. I mean, with that arm hurting, you're not going to be able to lift your opponent. Uh oh. There goes that submission style from Persia Pierce. She's got the full extension on the arm bar. She might snap that arm if Chelsea doesn't give up soon. Chelsea. That's going to do it. Here's your winner by submission, Persia Pierce. Persia still kicking and fighting. Great outing from both women, but Persia Pierce endures the attack from Chelsea Durden and comes away with a big victory here tonight. What a great way to start off the Diamond Cup, Brittany. Yes, indeed. This is such a great way to start off. And now 
We're going to kick into some tournament matches coming up soon to see who will advance on to get the Diamond Cup.